Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a volcano update Thursday, December 2nd, around 9 p.m. Mountain Time 2021. Now, we're going to talk, discuss two volcanoes tonight, but the most pressing issue is Grimsvolten. Grimsvolten uh, in Iceland, we've been covering it for weeks now since the unrest began, and now the Joculips is happening, and that is simply a glacial outburst meltwater flood, and it started about 36 hours ago and has been increasing. Let's look at the latest report here. The glacial flood, which is a joculip, we'll go over that in a moment, from Grimsvotten has started. Meltwater has made its way under the glacier to its exit at the Gigjusvisk outlet river, whose water levels are now quickly increasing and were approximately 1,200 cubic meters per second earlier today and now up over 1,500. Scientists expect the flood to go on for days and reach its max in four to six days at values of around 4,000 cubic meters per second. Now, a huge whitewater river in America would be running at 4,000 cubic feet per second. So this is three times the volume of some of the most insane whitewater rivers or just the Grand Canyon, for instance, runs that every day. Now, we have lots of data uh, to show you on what's going on there, including there is a live channel, and we'll get to that in just a moment. So the most recent update showing that the subglacial meltwater flood started while the top of the glacier subsided 15 meters. Well, that 15 meters was early this morning, and now the live numbers are showing 21 meters. So this baby has dropped down 6 meters in less than 24 hours, and we're going to get to the data set. This is the outlet river. That's the Gigiuvisi, the Jujuvisk. And here you see days ago there was no water flowing in there, and now the outburst flood has begun, and the river has come up several meters and is now flowing and increasing in output daily. Now, a joculip is uh, literally a type of glacial outburst flood, it's an Icelandic term that has been adopted in glaciological terminology in many languages. I learned it in graduate school and undergraduate at Temple University, and it originally referred to the well-known subglacial outburst floods from Vantajökull in Iceland. And we're, we're witnessing one now in Vantajökull. This is an outburst river in the southern portion of the Vantajökull Glacier, just to bring you up to speed. Now, since joculips emerge from hydrostatically sealed lakes, with floating levels far above the threshold, their peak discharge can be much larger than that of a normal marginal or ex extra marginal lake outburst. And in fact, they are. Some of the, la the largest floods in recorded Earth history are Joculip in Iceland, period. Now, here we are at the seismic tremor at Grimsvolten, and you can see, well, it's looking like something is brewing under Grimsvolten. Here is today live. This is a live chart happening now, and we see for one, two, three, four, for five straight days, a straight increase in micro tremor. Now, if you've been watching La Palma, you know what this means. Something is moving beneath the surface, probably magma. Now, what ha happens here, if we go five days ago when the glacier started melting, that's what we're seeing here. It's releasing pressure on the caldera and magma is getting active and moving. And that's not good news. That, that means it's going to erupt. Now, here was the chart this morning that I picked up, there was been a 12 meter drop and simply 16 hours later, here we are live there. We're here at the live chart. So earlier today, we were right here at 12 meters. And in just the last few hours, it is now subsided to 22, approaching 23 meters. And it's dropped down 10 meters in just a few hours. So this baby is going exponential currently. And the good news is that if you're that into it, there are live seismographs and subsidence charts over here at Daily Iceland. So subscribe there, give them a thumbs up, tell them I sent you. 26 watching now, the Grimsvotten Volcano Seismic Measurements live. And this is getting pretty intense. The vertical drop off here is exponential. It's gone down 10 meters just in four hours compared to 10 meters in, tw in two days. So the there's a huge change happening now. And the output on that joculip uh, should be epic in the morning. We should get be able to get some video, and I'm really hoping for that. Now let's talk, talk about Ulawun in Papua New Guinea. Now this is one of the most dangerous volcanoes on Earth. 
and has recently erupted to VEI4. We covered it in spectacular style on Oppenheimer Ranch Project several years ago, back in 2019. And uh, it's it comes up in the search engine. If you put up Uluwun volcano eruption and get the video, on, you'll find the video. It has over 17,000 views. It erupted into space. And the initial outburst at VEI-4 from Uluwun back in 2019 was VEI-4. So a VEI-4 eruption occurred in just a few minutes, twice the output of gas and volume of La Palma, which has been going on for two months, happened in two minutes at Uluwun. And it, it actually punctured a hole into space. And I'll show you that, not in space, into the uh, stratosphere. We'll show you that in a minute. It went up 68,000 feet back on June 26, 2019. We covered it on that day, moments after it occurred. Now, here is an article from that eruption that I'll share with you, but I wanted to bring you over here to show you a picture of the power and the force of that explosion. This is a photo from a helicopter taken on that day showing Papua New Guinea's Mount Uluwun exploding at VEI-4, 68,000 feet into the stratosphere. And here is the satellite imagery of that eruption, and we'll show it to you now. So Uluwun is right there, and there we see the VEI-4 puff exploding into the stratosphere. That's it. Just takes a few minutes, and it's all over. But that ash then dumped down and covered over 5,000 residents on that island. So it was devastating, to say the least. And things have probably gotten back to normal since then, but it looks like there is another event on the horizon for Uluwun. And Based on what we have seen in the historic past, this has erupted quite violently recently. So back in 2000 was a VEI-4, and then for years after that, VEI-3, VEI-2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, just seven years later, there was 10 eruptions, VEI-2 or greater. So we're probably in for another run here. VEI-4, which is followed typically in this instance by VEI-3 and then lesser eruptions. So we should be looking for a VEI-3. Wow, what was that? Certainly something we don't want to watch. <laughs> so I hope you guys got something out of the video. Let's just recap. Grimsvotten volcano subglacial meltwater flood started about 36 hours ago. Subsidence this morning was 15 meters here at the caldera. It has since increased as the joculips, which is a glacial flood, has increased. Micro tremor is straight up for five days during the melt. And the subsidence is exponential in just the last four hours, dropping 10 meters in four hours live here at the live charts. Now, the history of Grimm's Votan is that as the pressure gets released on the top of the caldera, magma and gas is formed in the magma chamber below, and it causes Grimm's Votan to erupt. This has happened about 40% of the time when these outbursts occur, maybe a little less. But the last glacial outburst was a few months ago in September and it's doing it and it didn't erupt and now it's doing it in a big way. And I think, well, that means it's boom time. Hope you got something out of the video. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance in a dystopian world where the mainstream media, well, they just create articles. And we give you facts straight from space, right in your face like the VEI-4 eruption of Uluwong, which deposited more ass, ash, and gas <laughs> in just eight minutes than the entire La Palma eruption has done in two months. So that certainly was a boom. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Be safe. We love you. Any questions, leave them below. We'll get to them. Thanks for watching.